Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Explain Dio Video Creator 2.x at this point. Uh, I just wanted to show you some stuff I was playing around with. I know everybody out there has got the new system and trying to navigate and everything. So I just wanted to kind of show you, show off some of the stuff that I've done. And uh, then I'll show you how I did it to make it a little bit easier because uh, there's a couple of little things you need to know and a couple of nice interesting things that are here. And I just thought I would uh, throw this quick video out. I'm not going to go into depth in all the features. I am going to make more videos to show you, especially the um, the transitions and uh, the green screen video, though, is that's pretty simple and easy. But the sprite animation, that's cool. Now, check this out. Standard uh, slide, right? Watch. Flying video. See, now you can bring video in and animate it. You know, it's part of the sprite animation stuff. Now, I made the video stop right here. It's really longer, but you have control over the timing. And look at that transition. That was an SWF transition. Uh, there's a way to do it with video. Uh, if you wanted to use uh, green screen and have a transparent type uh, transition, but I used uh, an SWF. I have a set of those that are going to be available. And you have to, if you're used to doing transitions with video, you know that there's video A, then there's a transition, then video B appears, right? Well, if you watch here closely, you might want to, not going to see it. That's one part, and that's the second part. So what happens is the transition covers the screen. That's on part one. And then the second part is from the screen being covered to it being uncovered and to this position. Also notice that the clock started off huge, moved over, and flipped. All that is sprite animation. Now let me show you how I made that. Um, I'm just going to show you how this is put together. And I'm going to try to put one together again. I probably won't be able to do it the same, but... Here's the first frame, and this is the slide like you're normally used to seeing, right? But you look over here and you wonder, well, where do I put the text and pictures and everything else? And so you have to click right there on slide. When you're using the animated slide, click on slide. It says customize this animation. And looky there, there's all the stuff that you're used to seeing. When you want to get out, I just click on the top of the slide and you're back. Now, let me just show you something, even though I'm not going to complete it here you notice you don't have create sketch scene or create animated slide anymore it's all one thing all one thing so when you click that you you end up in the screen looks like this now see what we got here and look at this now that's cool you can't go bigger than but you can go smaller than so that way you can put stuff out here to move so what you're looking at this is the slide so if i wanted to get a regular explain your slide go there add explain your slide just like you normally would or add an swf by doing that that's how i do the transitions we'll get there so this is the uh, standard slide that's here over here because remember the slide plays and then uh this thing slides in right so you see you got one image there and one right here now the transition is in there, it's kind of messing me up a little bit, but um, you can add uh, motion to this thing. So this flies in, there's a second one. Let me see if I can click on the dot. No, I'm not being able to get it, so I'm gonna have to do this a different way, but it blows up big. This is the timing. So when you're starting with the, when you bring in an image or graphic in, this is a video actually, you can click on add animation what it says when you don't have any others and this is the second frame so I'm saying fly in and go to full size in 24 frames which is how long one second so let's see if I can demonstrate this I've been playing around with this and sometimes it kind of mixing me up yeah see there you go see it flew in and expanded now check this out right here this video is actually 316 frames, I believe. But, I, but see this? Stop playing after. So what I did in the video, it's, it's supposed to stop right here even. That's where I wanted to do. So let me just back this up a little bit. See if I can make that happen. So this, I, I didn't want to play the whole 30 seconds of the video. I just wanted to, to kind of stop right there. See that? Now I can make it stop a little earlier.
see earlier so yeah full control and then this here you know this is just the same as it ever was you just you click on your text and put this there the difference is that you can animate these I didn't animate this one but as you can see it comes up and it sketches right that's not all if I want to I can click on add animation here look at that so then I can pull this down now from here to here is gonna be 24 seconds I'm gonna make it 12 half a second and let's see what we got now that's cool right there okay then we're gonna move over to here and this is what I mean if you have transitions you're gonna have to cut them in half and notice right here that these four are one scene and these two are another scene so what you want to do is you want to put the transition on the last frame of the scene so that it wipes from here to here evenly so that in the trick that Andrew uses in his video is he puts a scene video under the first scene and then draws on top of that then he puts a scene video in the second one and then puts the transition on top of that so it's this is the scene background video that's going to play through the whole scene right but in this first frame you run the transition so this one starts from a, a screen that's clear and it covers the screen right and then this one will run uncovering the screen see how it works so let me preview this again it's going to say buffering assets in between but when you run the video it doesn't See, buffering flat assets comes in now it's gonna stop a little short right there see transition this one in the video but now it's going to move and then the swipe and see it buffered assets a bit between those two frames I mean the scenes I'm sorry now watch the clock the clock is gonna shrink and flip all that is in the sprite animation okay so now that we're here you don't see the video because the video is a background video in the whole scene, right? So it's so if you had four or five frames out here, that video is going to play under all of this stuff, right? Okay. So here is the sprite. The way I put this in here is I went to add flash animation, and then here's all my transitions. I have starts and ends. Some of these are going to be available for free. Some in the package pretty soon. What I did, I took my video transitions, cut them in half, made them into SWS because it, to me it made it easier to handle, especially since you can determine where you want it to start. Okay, so it, if I was going to reload this one, see I can start it anywhere. I don't have to start it on frame one, depending upon your animation or what effect you're trying to get. That's how you can do that. I'm not going to add this because I already have one there, but then when you uh, click add, it comes into the screen sometimes it comes in small you just click on scale full screen or scale full screen proportional and there it is so that's my transition so this is going to come in it's going to wipe so that i see the underlying video in the scene and then it's going to sketch the clock so let's go in and see what the clock is doing so here's the clock right so it sketches the clock to be full size that's this one and then over here this one flies over in half a second or 12 frames and what I did was see this is the clock in normal mode when I moved it over here I just clicked on flip horizontal see that flips it back that flips it forward so the animation moves this from here to there and then flips it uh, and there there are all kind of features in here and guess what we can do now so let me let me just add a video see if I can find something relatively short probably can't but we're going to do this anyway guess what we can do now so let me put that there I'm, I'm going to just put this over here show you how this works add animation get another screen I'm going to put this over here I'm going to have it come on the screen in 12 seconds because I like it to pop and then I'm going to expand this to there okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another point and that'll be a full second and I'm going to 
expanded the rest of the screen. Well, now I can just hit scale full screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it. And now it's the other direction. So now let's see what I've done. Do a scene preview here. It started with the end of the transition. Here's the clock. It's gonna move over and flip. And then guess what's happening now? We are sketching video, baby. <laughs> Look at that. And it's gonna flip here in a second. And Oh, did it flip? I must have missed it. I'm not sure. Let me open the canvas and see. It looks like it did. Maybe it's just because of the graphic and the spinning around. I can't really tell when the flip happened. But that's basically what this is. Let me just, let's just try some. I'm going to move it out here. So the video is going to be in the frame and it's going to move out. So it's going to sketch the video what video running under it and that video is a scene video so it's running through all the frames like I said remember now this comes in and it goes away okay this is something that uh, I did with the clock that I didn't show you before one of the things you have to consider is that when this animation begins and you have movement it's gonna start moving right then if you want to delay that movement let me get rid of some of these points if you want to delay that movement, the thing to do would be is you have to make one that stands in place. So here's the start. We're going to add animation. That's going to come into the screen and last for half a second. Now what I wanted to do is go to the top of the screen, expand a little bit, stay there. So I'm going to move it up. No, wait a minute. I need to create another point move this one up expand it some get it in the frame now i wanted to grow there and stay there for two seconds so what i need to do is create another point and line these up so that it doesn't move my old eyes might not have it right and i want it to stay there for two seconds then i wanted to move out out well over here now see this is the beauty of having the this is, I'm using the scroll button on my mouse to scroll out and then to scroll back in. So let's see what I got. Seems to be taking some time. Did I add some time where I shouldn't have? That's the start. There's 48 coming in. That's the problem. Let me just make this. Let me just go back out again and see if I just didn't do it right. Let me preview the scene. That's what about the end of the animation. Clock is drawn. After that, the video should fly in. See, I'm still playing with this stuff. You know, it works when you're not making a video, but then when you make a video to tell people about it, all of a sudden, all kind of things happen. Okay. There's the video. Oh, I know what the problem is. You know what the problem is? Have you figured it out? Yeah, I figured it out. Since I had the video starting out here, it's sketching out there. Okay, so what I need to do is come in here and say nothing. Now, now, see we're, we're troubleshooting together here. So that was the end of the transition. Clock's gonna be drawn. Gonna move out, reduce its size, and flip. All right, now my video should fly in. You don't see the hand doing this thing. And then it's gonna expand, stand there for two seconds, and then it's flying right out because I stacked them. Now, I'm sure there are other techniques or better techniques, but this the point of this video is just to show you where some of the stuff is, okay? 
So action before, action after is controlled by which one of these things you're clicked on. Um, in the case of the animated slides, if you're working with an animated slide, what you need to do if you want to change the text or add pictures or video into that slide like you normally do, you click on the slide button here after you've selected the frame that the animated slide is in. And then you click on customize this animation and you're back to where you've always, what you're familiar with, right? Here's all the, the stuff here. And then what I do is I click up here, but you can click the close button and that takes you back. So either way works. Okay. Here we have the video. So now you have control over how long the video plays. You can flip the video or change its position. I do it with the animation. This is the same as it ever was. You know, you got the, the text there, but now you have the ability outside of the sketch area to change the text and do some things with it here, you know, even change its position. This is the transition. This is an SWF. That's why this is selected. So as you can see, you know, it comes in and does the half transition because this is one scene, these four frames, need a blank. And here's another scene, three frames. So it's going to transition from here to here. And so the way you do that is you put first part of the transition on the end of on this frame, the last one in the um, scene. And then you put the other transition on the beginning of the next scene so that it goes, you know, like that. Now, what I was making a point about is that over here, this is SWF control. Now I said this is going to play for 15 frames, right? But you can pause in between it, and it helps if you have more frames in your video, but just as an example. So just say that I want to pause at frame five, five, for half a second, a little bit more. So see what it does? It, frame five completes. Frame five completes. So if you have an animation that is making some kind of movement, you can actually what you do is you come in here and you move the thing around then you come out here and delay its action so that you can have it maybe point at a sign and then move over to the side flip it and have it point to something else you know but you'll be stopping the animation because it may just point 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 but you can now stop that point move over here point move back point you know so for example i mean you can do a whole lot of stuff with this you just have to bring in a character and play with it. We're going to have more videos that kind of detail this stuff. I just wanted to just give you a walkthrough. Okay, this is a slide panel where you can actually put a slide background. And you have a lot more opportunities to put backgrounds in. I mean, this is a slide background that will be under the the regular slide if you have one in here. So you can come in here and customize this if, you, if it was an animated slide. Otherwise, there's no option in here for you because that's what this is for. But you can put a background slide under this slide. I do have a video here, so I don't need that. But this is where you would do that as well. All right. Action before, action after, same as it ever was. So, you know, there's no surprises here. Now, if you guys bought the package from Kurt Melvin, he's got some hands in there, some other things in there. So I, I'm getting ready to get the package myself. I've just been trying to put this together, some other things. Uh, and see that Andrew has it out there, so I'm gonna click on the link and get this. But here's where you put your hands that they in his package. You can set the hands right here. So um, that's I don't have any hands, so I'll just leave that as is. And in this window, you can add the standard explaining your animated slides, or you can add SWFs. This transition you're looking at is an SWF, actually. You can add video, and once that video comes in, uh, then you can sketch it or not sketch it. But I'm not going to add this one. But those, those are some of your options that you can do right there. If the video is short, you get the timing window at the top. If it's really long, you don't. So that's one, one thing I've noticed. Add bitmap, app sketch image, no difference you know, to none of these things. Just the thing that I would pay attention to, let me zoom out with my wheel mouse, is um, this little tag here. Right now it's saying remove animation because this is the start and there's another one over here. Uh, here's the final one here. And I, can I can't see it. Zoom out. 
And once you create the first one, all your timing ends up here. So you can remove that point, you can add another point. This timing means the distance between the one prior and this one. So from here, there's no timing. From here, two seconds. Then to here, one second. That's how that's working. Um, this is just a brief video, even though it's 20 minutes long. I just wanted to just go over some of the, the points here that you have. Uh, as far as I know, let me see, is there anything else over here? Nope. A uh, green screen. Okay, this is a green screen window right here, but this is not a green screen video, so I really can't demonstrate it. But if I were to click on this, it'd knock out all the black. If black was my background, everything else was positive. That's, I need to, on another video, I'll show you more in depth about how this works, but this is basically the green screen. Now, my understanding is that if you have 2002 green screen may not be in there but by the time some of you see this video it may be back there was an issue i didn't um have the problem but uh andrew said he was going to correct it i'm making this on june the 4th uh the day he said people can buy at half price so i just want to put this out there if you buy at half price and you want to you get frustrated wondering now what the hell do i do with this thing then let me just uh, the purpose of making this video is to show you what you're working with, you know, so this is really hot, really hot. So let me close here and let me play this two videos for you before I get out of here so you can see some of the other things that I've tried to do. And this thing always gives me a problem. There you go. See, I can shrink down an animated uh, slide. So showing you can sketch on top of the animated slides. It also shows you that the text can move and this is gonna move up the screen. It also shows you that you can sketch an image and this is where the animated sprite stuff comes along where you can flip it and move it around. Just remember that uh, as you've read in the posting, until Andrew gets to the multi-threaded stuff, you can only have one action after the other. You can't have multiple actions, but I know a trick for that. A video's coming up to show you how. This is some overlay video, some green screen video that had a black background. And this was created on the particle system that I have. Uh, and there's my one of my explosions. So I was able to green screen it out. Here's another one of these geometric shapes that, this is a video, right, that I green screened out and move around the screen a little bit, you know, give me some kind of uh, galactic nebula, whatever. Uh, just to be playing around with some stuff and just see how it works. It fades in and fades out really well. And then also for professionals out there who are looking for practical uses for this thing, uh, this is a project that I am working on. And for lawyers out there, check this out. This was all done and explain to you boom sorry about that guy it said so this is something that you can do there these are png graphic cars and the animation you're seeing was done in explain to you so a lot of versatility and i will be doing a, a video on how that was created but this is rick from proslidepacks.com just wanted to give you a little heads up on what you got yourself into it's a lot more to explore, a lot more I need to look at, and I'll be making some more training videos for you. So everybody, have a good night.